All right, so I've got all my parts and pieces cut out. I've got my background as well as, as, well as my colored fabric. The first thing we're going to do is lay out a four patch using our background and our one color for the block. So we're just gonna make sure that it's laid out in opposites. We're gonna sew these two together and sew these two together and then sew both sections together to make our four patch center. Now that you have your four patch all sewn, give it a good press because this is gonna be the center of the block and it really needs to be ready for adding on. Before we can add on, we're going to have to take some of these squares and cut them in half on the diagonal. We're going to take our background as well as our colored block. And this is going to be the smallest piece. We're going to cut these in half diagonally from corner to corner. After they've been cut, you can go ahead and place them Out. So I'm going to have the background opposite of the other background. So these are triangle pieces and we just need to make sure that we are opposite each other. What we're going to do is we're going to sew them in opposite as well. So we're going to first sew this to this side and then sew this to this side. Um, if you will notice, your triangles are a little bit longer than the four patch, which is great because you want these points to hang off. This will give you a great quarter inch when the block is finished or a point, a perfect point. Now that I have those sewn down, you're going to just open them up and press them out. The next step being is to add our background triangles to this now. So we can pin it in place if we want, but we're going to line up the edge. We're also going to notice that these, these um, corners will overlap the block by just a little bit. We're going to sew this one down and then sew the last triangle on the opposite side. When this is complete, we're going to go ahead, open those up and press it out. All right, for the next step, we are going to need to cut again our um, triangles for this. So. We are going to set these ones aside, make sure we have the right ones, right sides up if you're cutting them together. For this, it's required that we cut diagonally twice across this to get the correct size for this block. You can set two of these half square triangles aside so there is a little bit of extra on this. We may be using those later on in another quilt block. So. I've got them cut. I'm going to place my center down and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my triangles that I've just cut to the top and to the bottom. Again, we are going to sew these on alternating or to opposite sides. So if I can get them apart. All right, so we're going to and these are the extra triangles. We're going to set them aside for and later on. So I'm going to sew this background to this side. And then after that, I'm going to sew the background triangle to the opposite side. I'm going to go ahead and line this up on the edge. Notice again that the points will be hanging off. Now that you have those sewn on, we're going to go ahead and open them up and give them a good press. Flip this back around. Now we're going to repeat the same process with the next two triangles. So now we're going to press this one open. And for our last outer ring on this, we're going to repeat the same process with our last square. So for this square, we're going to cut just once on the diagonal from corner to corner. We're going to lay out our center and then we are going to put our triangles down. Again, we want to make sure everything is opposite each other. So we have our color color and our background background. So we're gonna repeat the same process with this outer M, outer border and just stitch down our triangles opposite each other, lining up the edge, making sure we have um, our points hang off. So we have nice points when we're finished with the block and seam allowance. 
All right, now that we have our last triangle on the outside border, we can go ahead and press the whole block out. What you will want to do is check with the size on the pattern and square this up if you need to. 